Hello, I am Patty Elhoff. I am the author of the book Upcycle with Decoupage. There we have it. Available on Amazon, YouTube, sorry, <laughs> Amazon, Scobie Books. I have YouTube on the brain. Barnes and Noble and several online retailers. I will tell you that Scobie Books for now is offering the best, best price on this book. So, Today, though, I'd like to show you how we're going to do a 3D decoupage image. I will tell you that these are the supplies that you need 3D, for 3D decoupage. Um, the base can be anything you'd like it to be. It can be canvas. It can be just a simple wooden block like this. Just for the sake of ease, today we're going to use this. So I can show you how. And it's better probably to start small. You'd need uh, scotch tape, decoupage glue and scissors, foam adhesive circles, or silicone glue. I will be using the silicone glue. You need an old credit card, a fast drying polyurethane, you can get that at the hardware store, heat gun, UT, which is this ultra-thick embossing enamel. Nothing else like that on the market that I know of. Glitter, which is optional, and you have to have the clear embossing ink in order for that UT, UT, however you pronounce that, to work. So, first thing we have to do is go to your computer and print out any print that you like. This is a picture of hydrangeas that grow in our yard, Nico Blue as you can tell. I made three prints. Take two of the prints and coat them. You only need to do this one time with the fast drying polycrylic. This is a clear gloss. And remember, just take two of the images and coat it with that. One image, keep aside. We're going to keep that one image for the top. Let's take our base, cover it with decoupage glue. Like that. You can see I went a little too hard there. You don't have to put anything on the surface of this. Normally, if you were doing decoupage, you would add a layer of decoupage glue, but since this already has the polycrylic on top of it, we'll move on to our next step, which is take two of the copies and tape them together using minimal tape. Let me pull this back. It would go like this. And what you should have, by the way, here is you should have one copy that's got the polycrylic on it. Almost said polyvinyl again. And then the other one is just the plain one that you have from your copier. While they're taped together on these sides, let's cut out some separate petals. Next step is we will take the images that we cut out. Now you want to make sure on this step you are using the pile that has the gloss on it, the polycrylic. What I'm going to do is take my silicone glue 
and I'm going to put little dots on the back here but I'm going to move this over just a, a hair like if you put it exactly over it you're not going to be able to see too much if you move it over a hair just a smidge, a skosh you'll be able to see a little bit of a shadow but make sure this second layer is the one that's got the polycrylic finish on it glad I fast forwarded through that because the glue kept getting stuck and I had to use a bamboo skewer to pierce this to get it to come out. This is my favorite part of the project personally. I want you to take one of the unfinished copies that you have and by unfinished I mean there's no polycrylic on top of it and I'm going to secure that. I'm going to take the clear embossing gel, clear embossing medium ink, whatever you want. Don't rub it, but pounce it all over your image. Uh, once you stamp all of this, on here, secure that a little better, you're going to take your UTI ultra thick embossing enamel, it's not really enamel but let's call it that because that's what they call it, and take your heat gun. This is going to blow all over, I know that ahead of time so I put a little too much on there as usual. Love to watch this stuff melt. Takes a second for the heat gun to kind of catch up to the right temperature. Don't hold it over any area for too long. You could burn your paper. Just long enough for this to melt. Melt this. And I just do this a couple of times. Whoa. Got a little schmutz in there. Uh oh. Oh well. <laughs> Don't get schmutz in your product. Projects. <laughs> uh, personally, I love some glitter. Maybe I can even cover up that last thing. While this is still hot and melty, I'm going to put a little glitter. Take the heat gun away. Put a little glitter on there. Heat. Glitter, heat, glitter. So that's now all secure in there. It's melted in there. Done with the heat. And pick this up. Nice little flower. Okay, we're done with that very messy part of the project. I want some drop cloths around underneath there, or at the very least you're going to need your vacuum cleaner, broom, dustpan. We clean all day anyway, right? So, now we'll go back to the original print. We'll do the same thing that we just did a moment ago. By the way, the reason that we took the plain print and not the one that had polycrylic on it is because I noticed yesterday that the one with the polycrylic on it as I used the heat gun on it started to yellow 
yellow is not good in our projects uh, when we want them to be white especially. Maybe if you're going for a vintage look, but that's not what I wanted. So uh, I attempted to do some of this without the polycrylic and it came out much nicer. If you want, you can bend this. It crackles. It'll give you a nice little crackly finish or you can leave it as it is. It may crackle normally, but it won't come off and it will just add to your project. So let me fast forward again through the adding dabs of glue or again you can always use these. I'm going to stick with the sticky glue. So let me put these on again and line them up with the over the exact spot where the other one is. Tiny bit off the center. Alrighty. Now you can see we've got our 3D images, the top with the UT. Here's what I normally do is I will take I'll clean this up when I'm done. You don't have to watch me clean, right? <laughs> Here's the finished project after I took all of those loose ends off. I still left some flowers going over, flower petals going over the sides. But there's your 3D. There's three different layers. Little gloss on the bottom. Gloss in the center and the UT on top. And hang that on your wall anywhere you'd like. And you've got yourself a very personal and made just to your liking piece of artwork. Thanks again for watching. Bye.